I'm not sure what direction they're going to head, but I think that what we're going to see is that there has been really a very large influence of Thomas Krenz on the museum world in general. I know that doesn't answer your question, because by the time this comes out, frankly, they could have hired someone and it won't really make any sense. But I'll say that there were things that, for example, branding. When he came in from the Yale School of Organization and Management and he was talking about branding, and everyone said, oh, this is completely inappropriate for the world of fine arts museums. Now they all talk about branding, for example. Um, the, star the, the legacy of this idea of the star architect is a little mixed. And in fact, after the success of the Bilbao Guggenheim, there were plans for all kinds of other Guggenheims in Austria, in Rio, in Mexico, in Taiwan. All of them attached to star architects, and none of them happened. Because all of these projects, again, are combinations of finance, diplomacy, politics, local governments. They're very hard to get off the ground. And in the end, a place like Bilbao, where there's a provincial government which really had a lot of money, that was a very special case. In some place like Rio, where there's not that kind of money because the standard of living in Brazil is very different than the standard of living in northern Spain, it's much harder to get something like that off the ground. Thank you.